Well, I hope you're enjoying fall in July. That's what it's been like the last couple of days. Either you can say it's late September or early October. Take your pick. Late September sounds a little less harsh, but it's chilly. In fact, so cold this morning at 51 degrees in Milwaukee, we tied a record from 1961. <laughs> Look at the mid 40s from West Bend to Waukesha and Burlington. The one good thing, the wind was light today, so no wind chill. We're also seeing a little bit of sunshine. We've also had some cloud cover move through, so it's kind of a mixture of sun and clouds, a little haze out there. Uh, that sun is not warming us up. It's the same sunshine that brought us 85 degrees on Monday. It's just that we have the wind out of the east instead of the south and southwest. So it's all about the wind direction, even in the month of July. It is cool out there, and it will continue to be chilly throughout the rest of today. The cloudiness across the southeastern part of the state, and even though it's thin and wispy, it's because of the thicker clouds and the rain shower activity into Indiana, Illinois, and Missouri, places that just will not shut off the rain. It's close to us, but that's about as close as it gets as high pressure is blocking that, and we're just getting some of the residual clouds. It is 68 now in Waukesha, Watertown, Whitewater, and Lake Geneva. There will be a couple lower 70s in the inland areas, but uh, closer to the lakefront, upper 50s to around 60 degrees. It's 60 in Shorewood, also in Oak Creek, 64 Franklin, and 66 in Big Bend and Muskego. The wind speed, it's much lighter than yesterday when it was 10 to 20. Today it's 5 to 10 but it's still out of the east and keeping us cool. Our dew points have dropped significantly over the past 36 hours. It was so thick and humid uh, around here on Monday, but then the cold front dropped those dew points yesterday and continue to drop. It's dry and that steamy air has been pushed down into the Tennessee Valley. If you like the dry air, you're in luck for the next couple of days. It will be increasing humidity, but still comfortable through Friday. It's Saturday when you wake up, you're going to notice the humidity in the air. That's going to be fuel for some thunderstorms late in the day and overnight. And if that happens, it's going to get even more humid for Sunday. In fact, it could be pretty thick and steamy around here for Sunday afternoon, which will help fuel more thunderstorms. So the high pressure, a little mixture of sun and clouds for us, a light wind. The rain is staying to the south of us. High pressure will bring us more sunshine for tomorrow once again. Uh, and then we're watching for the warm front. That is down to the southwest of us. It'll be here Friday evening. And as I mentioned, you'll notice the humidity and the warmer temperatures by the time you wake up Saturday. Then Saturday night, showers and thunderstorms. Today, though, just sunshine and a few clouds. We'll give it a 7 on the Goddard gauge as temperatures are stuck in the 60s at the lakefront and lower 70s inland. This is more like the first week of October or late September. Temperatures tomorrow warming up will be in the lower 70s in Milwaukee, upper 60s along the lakefront, and we're looking at temperatures in the mid to upper 70s inland. For today, however, mostly sunny, cool, 66 to 72 degrees. Tonight will drop down into the low to mid 50s, not quite as chilly as it was this morning, but still well below the normal of 62. Let the warm up begin 73 on Thursday, 77 on Friday with thunderstorms late in the day, humid and lower 80s this weekend with a good chance of thunderstorms both days.